Does this happen to you a lot? It happens to me all the time. But now with the new grading of substats and runes, today is a perfect time to go over a new video. How to manage your runes efficiently. Just so you know, I'm going to be in Mexico Sunday, January 8th, and I won't get back until Monday the 15th. I got some pre-recorded videos for you just to push out content for you guys. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that dog dingy dingy thing. So you know. So you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the day. Make sure to do your three battlefields a day. I know battlefield isn't the greatest place to be, but you need sky stones. There's a lot of different reasons why you need sky stones, but more importantly, it helps you in the process of getting six star gear. Like I said in the past, professions are super important and blacksmithing is another profession that's super important. Super important. So I'm heading towards level seven promotion. The reason I want to get to level seven promotion is for the six star gear. You can craft six star gear and that's every single slot but the reason i talk about sky stones is because when you're trying to promote and you go into all these different things every single piece that you are crafting is going to require sky stones and even if you lose the match in battlefield you're still getting sky stones three losses will let you be able to craft three items in your promotion just get it done group up with some friends if you have to the more you know okay room management first First and foremost for rune management, spend the crystals to expand your rune backpack storage. Yeah, we do have a rune storage here, but you can't put equipped runes in there, which sucks. The runes equipped on monsters shouldn't even be in your dang backpack. Come on, calm to us. Listen to your players. There's two different things to look for in runes. Yeah, we all want to shoot for legend runes optimally, but there are going to be some hero runes, the purple ones that you may want to use. But first, First, I select all my purple hero runes. I also click view unequipped only because I already know the runes are decent on my monsters. So after I manage all my runes, I can optimize those runes on my monsters later. Now, when I manage these, I am very strict on the purple runes. They have to be three perfect substats. And now with the grades, high grade rolls. But any runes that I know that I want to keep, I will lock them. And the reason for that is when I sell all these runes, these runes will be locked and I can't sell them. It's just easier to go through the runes to sell. You can go through all the rune sets at one time at once, but I personally like to go through set by set because then I know it's an energy rune and I know what substats that I want. For energy, you're mainly using energy sets because you want high HP. So you want tanky substats. These are all good three support tanky substats stats however there's two c1s so i'm actually going to sell this room an energy room with crit damage main stat there's no crit rate selling for sure again crit damage but there's no crit rate substat there's no attack but there's no crit rate so i'm selling you always got to take the main stat and whatever that is you want the substats to correlate with that main stat here's hp percent main stat these are pretty decent substats if these two grades were higher i'd probably keep but i'm going to sell Guard runes, yes, it's a tanky defensive rune. However, there's defense monsters that require defense and do a lot of damage. So not only do you want to look for like tanky substats in a rune, but if they are like nuker capable substats too, you might want to keep that as well. Here's a good example of a rune that I would want to keep. It's a guard rune, which gives more defense. It's got a defense percentage as a substat. Resistance and evasion, very good substats for defensive based units so i'm blocking this one in see here with this rune it's a defensive main stat as a guard rune but the substats just do not correlate with each other there's crit damage but there's no crit rate substat there's resistance which is great and then there's precision which there's not many defensive based monsters in the game that require like precision for basic attack skills they're all good grades in the substats but i'm going to sell this one because i'm I'm super strict on them purple.
purple runes. Now on to blade runes, which can be a little bit tricky. What I like to do with blade, if it doesn't have a crit rate substat, I just pretty much trash it immediately. The reason you're putting blade as a substat on a monster, it's because you're going for 90 to 100% crit rate anyway. And if you're critting, you obviously are looking for crit damage. If it has crit rate and has other good substats, then I'll most likely keep it. This blade rune, for example, this could be for a tanky HP base damage dealer. There's no C substat rank, so I'm going to keep it. Also, in general, overall, in any rune, when the main stat is a HP flat stat, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. There are three star monsters that would benefit more from a main stat in the flat. In my opinion, if you do this, make sure there is a percentage in the substat of whatever the flat stat is. For example, this is flat stat HP. I have an HP percent flat stat. Blade is situationally used on any type of damage dealer, whether that's an attack based one, an HP based one, or a defensive based one. So if you see a main stat percentage with crit rate on a blade set rune, I typically keep it. Also in general for crit rate main stat. Again, it might not be that bad to use it. If you do use a main stat that has crit rate percentage, the rune has to have a crit damage substat along with all the other substats being beneficial to the monster you plan on using it on. If it's anything like this and it doesn't have crit damage, then you sell it. Attack percent in slot four, which is the down rune. It's really debatable who gets this kind of rune. If the substats are good and it has crit rate and crit damage on it, then I would probably keep it. Anything else though, I would probably just sell. And if you really want to be picky, you can always use broken sets, which means you put runes on your monsters that don't complete the set. As long as you see that all the substats are amazing and they have high rolls like in this one, HP percent, defense percent, and accuracy, you can go ahead and keep something like this as well. Rage runes. Again, crit damage bonus set. If it doesn't have crit rate substat, I pretty much auto sell. HP percent main stat, crit rate substat, crit damage substat. So this screams an HP base damage dealer frontline tank so i keep this room here's a decent example of a plus 15 that i did of a rage room the main stat was crit rate percentage however i saw that it had attack percent and then crit damage into it so what i typically do in things like this i will plus three it and see where the roll lands. It landed on crit damage, so I plus three did again. It went on attack, I plus three did again. It went on crit damage. In this instance where you have crit rate as a main stat, this eliminates that a lot of other runes need crit rate. If you get other good substat rolls of like just pure crit damage, quad roll on a different rune, you can use that with this. It's all about overall stats. Fatal runes, the four set piece is attack percent bonus so you're obviously going for high attack substats you want attack percentage if it's not in the main stat crit rate for sure here's a great example of a fatal rune for substats anyways the grades suck but you got attack percent crit rate and crit damage all in the substats now swift runes are attack speed bonus attack speed only goes towards your basic attack like this is a great swift rune for raccoonie attack speed precision evasion resistance and all the rolls went into attack speed and precision this is a good example of an attack speed main stat rune for swift that i keep and i leveled up to see where the substat rolls would go two rolls into precision one into a flat attack that's all right so i ended up keeping this because of the high attack speed main stat and precision here's an example of a tanky swift rune doesn't have attack speed but it has precision on it and it has evasion defense percent on all high grades so i keep this one again here is a good rune precision doesn't have attack speed but it has crit rate and evasion all high grades i'm keeping this one for a nuker based build on to focus runes focus runes you want to land debuffs you want that accuracy bonus so you go for accuracy substat now there's a lot of damage dealers and supports and tanks that require accuracy so like in previous situations you just need to make sure that the main stat correlates with all the 
sub stats. I don't farm that dungeon enough either, so I really don't have a lot of focus runes. On to Endure. Endure is a rune set that a lot of people don't typically build in their monsters. It's just with resistance, if you have really good substat rolls, you can hit that cap of 100% without using full Endure. However, you might get really good Endure runes with tanky substats and want to use that instead. Now, it's up to you whether you think resistance is broken or not, but it does help. However, with Endure runes, you're just going full out tanky support type of stats. You can test a rune like this out because a lot of supports or tanks might do extra things with more attack. So this is a keeper. It's got HP percent, evasion, and attack percent, all S ranks. You're still going to need some substats or resistance. So this is a good rune of HP, evasion, resistance. But again, I don't farm that dungeon as often either. Everyone knows a foresight does gives you 15% evasion. It's for the tanks. It's for your supports. A couple different things to think about with foresight. A lot of monsters would do different things. If you see an attack speed main stat with precision substat, you can roll that out and see how you like it. I got two rolls in precision on a main stat attack speed, so this is a pretty good rune. It's got some accuracy, crit rate, attack. Here's a good rune for foresight to keep. It's got HP percent, defense percent, and resistance. A plus nine to if you go to plus 12 and it hits evasion, it's even better. But you're looking for those deep defensive types of substats. Defense percent evasion. It's got a C graded for precision, but maybe if you roll it right and you get the right sub rolls, boom, defense, yay. And then boom, evasion, yay. And then boom, evasion again. And now you have a good rune. And then you plus 12 it, boom, HP, bam. Holy yeah. So you end up keeping a rune like that. And last but not least, the assemble rune, which is a bonus to your precision. Precision helps you fight against the evasion that helps your basic attacks land. So you're thinking either a support or a damage dealer attack speed based monster. So when you're looking at the main stat and it's HP percent, you want supportive base substats to help that main stat out. Precision is all about them basic attacks, so attack speed substat really good. Now we can just end it with how I manage legendary runes. With legendary runes, you have all four substats available to you. As long as all the substats correlate with the type of rune it is and what the main stat is, then it's an obvious keeper. But if the substats suck or the grades suck, then you just sell it. Again, attack percent main stat, but no crit rate, no crit damage, and the substat grades suck, so it's a sell. But if you just follow all the tips and strategies that I use in managing runes, you'll be able to get the best runes possible, or at least optimize yourself to have decent runes. You don't want to spend resources on bad runes. Then when you're done with all the managing, go to your general merchant and sell the runes that you don't need. As you see, the ones that you want to keep are locked. I go from 432 runes to 193. That's it for today's video. I hope this helps you manage your runes. And if you like this video and like my content, sub, like, ding, ding, a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.